One of the things we learned on our Reiki course is that sensations in the body mirror things that happen in the outside world. And different parts of the body can represent different things. And also if you listen to people like Caroline Mace, a medical intuitive, and other people like her and us, you'll find that we talk about different kinds of aches and pains, meaning different kinds of things. So for example, if someone's got knee pain and they go to a orthopedic surgeon, then the orthopedic surgeon might say that the person needs a knee operation. But maybe the problem is in the muscles around the knee, which need to be repaired, uh, such as directed pressure points, which repairs the muscles, and then the knee can repair itself. So, but the other thing is, from an energy point of view, knees represent change. And so people that have knee pain could be just that they're experiencing change, and change can be dramatic, even though we don't think it's dramatic, such as losing a partner, or even a new partner, or a partner in business, or losing a partner in business, or fighting with your partner sometimes, if it's chronic, as opposed to acute. Acute is something that happens and it goes away. Chronic is something that repeats over and over again, to use medical terms for something that happens all the time. And so, moving house is change, big change. Someone dies, big change. Knee pain could be caused by change. Another part of the body where one can experience pain is lower back pain, which is usually significant for financial problems. For myself, I've been experiencing central back pain for a week or two. And my feeling is that it's from being stabbed in the back so many times. I've given so much free advice to so many thousands of people over the past 25 years since I started my energy journey. Learning about renewable energy, learning about the whole energy system, not just renewable energy. There's still a place for coal. I don't believe there's a place for nuclear anymore. There's still a place for oil. There's still a place for gas. But all of those will be phased out as renewable energy takes over and as we build new grids or even reuse existing grids in a new way or new ways. If you believe in previous lives, I could say to you that I've, in all my previous lives, I've been a messenger. And sometimes the messenger delivers a message that the king doesn't like and he kills the messenger. Sometimes the messenger has got an important message and he knows that it's going to possibly fall into the wrong hands and say so commits to commit suicide so that the message doesn't fall into the wrong hands. So we have aches and pains and these aches and pains signal things to us. A friend of ours a, few, a, few, a month or two ago was told that she needed to have a gallbladder removed. She went to the doctor with excruciating pain and the doctor felt, did some scans, and immediately said, I'm going to check into hospital to remove your gallbladder. And she said, no way. And she phoned her husband and said, please get me out of here. Took some strong painkillers and phoned us. We said to her, the first thing to do is to do a gallbladder detox. She said she was already looking into it, and she compared her notes with our notes, and she did that. Get rid of the stones in the gallbladder, which was causing her pain. And secondly, when you get gallbladder pain and those other kind of pains, it could be because of unresolved anger issues. So when he said to her, do you have some kind of chronic unresolved anger issue? And she said, yes, I know exactly what it is. And we spoke to her a week later, she had done the detox and she had spoken to the person concerned and she got better without having to have her gallbladder removed. If you go and look at medical statistics and research, you'll discover that doctors and pharmaceutical companies and so on understand what 4% of the body does, what 4% of the DNA does, and therefore the rest is called junk DNA. What garbage? God didn't make junk DNA. He didn't make the appendix for nothing or the gallbladder for nothing or other parts that doctors routinely removed, like 
So I've got a plane flying past over here. The joys of making movies without studios. We have to make do with what we have to keep our costs down. At least we still have planes flying around. I mean, we should be happy. Wow. And that's an incredible achievement. When saying that's heavier than air, flies through the air. We can talk about that. That's, you know, I've learned how to fly in a previous life when I was 18, 20. So that we look at the issue and we say, what's wrong? Now, some years ago, I read a book called The Healing Power of Illness. The Healing Power of Illness. And the book says, you know, that everything is explainable from an external, internal point of view. And so, when we have a breathing illness, such as we've had the past two years, and for me, it's because the earth says, I can't breathe. And how does nature tell humans, I can't breathe, sends humans a breathing illness? We give it a name. We want to get an injection and go back to an old world. But in that new world in the last years, we learned how to move our offices to our houses. We learned how to communicate online. I mean, I've worked, I've had my office at my house since 2002. Even before 2002, we had ISDN lines, three of them, so that we could have video conferencing. Then we got ADSL with video conferencing and Skype. Today we have fiber. With fast fiber, you don't have to have a satellite anymore. You don't have to have telephone anymore. You don't have to have TV anymore. You don't have to have your telephone line anymore because everything happens via fiber backed up with LTE, 4G and 3G. So, he has a dog coming to say hello, my neighbor's dog. So, the thing to do is when you have a problem, it's to look at the bigger issue, the wider issue. What is the problem telling you about yourself? What is the problem telling you about the world? What is the problem telling you about your relationships? And yes, of course, doctors are important. Medicine is important, but remember that medicine gives you chemicals. Healers take chemicals away from you. Two weeks ago, I did a five-day food fast, just drank water, had some weak vegetable juice, had my daily supplements, and I did it for general health, but I've been having an ache in my arm, and that was reduced quite dramatically. So I think we must look at the big picture. Not I think, I know we must look at the big picture. I know that there is a big picture. I know that people are myopic. If you want to hear about myopia, read Malcolm Gladwell's Talking to Strangers, where he talks about how alcoholics become myopic. They only want what's in front of them and they commit atrocious deeds misdeeds. I don't even remember them in the morning. And initially, the doctors, psychiatrists and so on thought that the people were lying, but then they discovered that someone who's very drunk has a blackout. They might rape, murder, hurt, remember nothing in the morning. And this is because of extreme myopia. I only want what's in front of me. I don't care about the future. I don't care about tomorrow. I don't even care about an hour just want what's in front of me. And this is causing tremendous hardship and tremendous problems in the world. So if you have a rash, or if you have a kidney stone, or if you have knee pain, or if you have central or lower back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain, then you need to look and say, well, what is it? What could it be? Yes, if you have regular headaches. I don't have regular headaches. I have a headache maybe once a month, once every two months. I try not to take a tablet sometimes I need to. But I try to get to the bottom what caused the headache so that I don't have that kind of headache again. And you can do it too. Be conscious, be aware, and learn from what your body is telling you. Thank you.